Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm waiting for the announcements to stop, but I realized we're in Moscow, and that's probably never going to happen. <laughs> I am in Kursky Terminal, one of five or six railway stations in Moscow, and this is actually the one that I arrived here uh, to from Nizhny Novgorod and simultaneously got lost in. <laughs> like, I haven't been lost in a train terminal since, like, three years ago in Paris where that was just nuts but usually I can find my way around and I got totally lost here even though I can read the language so that's just how big it is today what's happening is I am taking the fastest train that I guess they have here in Russia called the Sub Sun uh, it's gonna be taking me to st. Petersburg and I guess the journey only takes like four hours when usually it would be an overnight journey so I think this is actually my most expensive ticket so far on this trip I think I paid approximately like 65 uh, Canadian dollars maybe about 50 American and for a four-hour journey that's definitely on the expensive side I wanted to see if it was anything like the Shinkansen in Tokyo and what the amenities were kind of like so let's get into the station and hopefully I don't get lost again <laughs> Oh great, there is that lineup to get in. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Make sure you arrive early, by the way. That's the first thing I'll say. So here we are inside the station. Uh, my train is right at the top, actually, leaving at 9.80 to St. Petersburg. It's on the first platform where that first platform is. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet, but we are here like 40-50 minutes early, so hopefully we're going to be alright. So I spoke too soon. Um, weirdest thing has never happened before. I'm waiting on platform one, right? The sign above me says my train name, my train number, like arriving soon. And a lady walks by that works here and is like, are you waiting to get on the sub sun? And I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, it's on the other like end of the platform. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I guess that depending on which train it is, it stops at different ends of the platform because I guess the platforms are so long they do seem kind of double uh, what they usually are so maybe they actually at some point have two trains on the same platform oh it snuck up behind me I thought it was coming the other way and came from here yeah, you guys, this looks actually very similar to Shinkansen trains in uh, Tokyo and much nicer than Lastachka, which is the high-speed train that I took here from Nizhny Novgorod. But yeah, this actually looks way more fancy. I'm excited. <laughs>
Well guys, um, <laughs> that was an interesting journey for many reasons. I'll get into the train in just a second, but I was reading my guidebook and I discovered a big mistake that I made. I think it's okay, but uh, I'm sure glad I uh, figured that out now than uh, in a week <laughs> when I'm going back uh, to Ukraine. So I'm actually going to make a full video <laughs> on what could have been a very bad situation so you guys can uh, hopefully not make the same mistake. hate to leave you hanging, but uh, I really can't just brush off the mood that I'm in. And, and I'm so happy. It was an amazing trade ride. Everything was great. We're literally half of it. I was like panicking and being like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> So, um, hmm. <laughs> back to the train. Uh, it was a really good journey. I was very impressed uh, with the amenities. I think it was going over 200 kilometers an hour most of the time and was very comfortable. And I loved actually how quiet everybody was, how peaceful it was. That's why I kind of didn't vlog while we were moving. But I would highly recommend, like if you are looking to get in between cities really fast and aren't a fan of the overnight sort of trains, I would say that this is by far your best option if you're staying in the more um, western part of Russia. Obviously, they don't go all across Russia, this particular train. There's obviously nicer trains that go all the way to Vladivostok. But anyways, I would highly recommend it. 10 out of 10 was very impressed very comparable to the shinkan set but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been on the sapsan or just high speed trains in general and i will keep you guys updated with uh, my situation so please wish me luck and uh keep being your own kind of beautiful bye guys